You're the father of uh, two children? Yeah, one age now, eight and 12. Yeah. Are they interested in science? Uh, I don't pre press it on them. I don't, uh, I'll tell you this. By the time I'm done with them, they're going to be scientifically literate, whether or not they want to become a scientist. In fact, if you ask them today, I think my daughter wants to be a novelist, and that's very much not a scientist. It's something else completely. But I can tell you that she is scientifically literate, and the li science literacy is coming from the how I immerse them in their environment at home, uh, when we travel, what surrounds them that forces them to think about how the world works. And I'm actually doing a study on them about the causes and effects of these, um, of the environment versus how they think. People think science literacy is being able to recite facts. You know, how long does it take the moon to go around the earth? How does your microwave oven work? Um, and it's not that. Th it's a part of it, but it's not the main part of it. The main part is how do you look at the world? What lens, what does the world look like through your lens? And if you're scientifically literate, the world looks very different to you. It's not just a lot of mysterious things happening. We, there's a lot we understand out there. And that understanding empowers you to first not be taken advantage of by others who do understand it. And second, it's a, there are issues that confront society that have science as their foundation. If you're not scientifically literate, you are, it's in a way, you are disenfranchising yourself from the democratic process and you don't even know it. So uh, whatever my kids become, I want them to be scientifically literate. And that's, that's my goal with them.